This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hello and welcome to Thor News' Adult News Article of the Day. I'm your host, Thor. Now let's roll. Rock on. We like to learn. We like to laugh. We like to think. We like to imagine. We like to have fun. Ain't that right, party people? Being a party people, you can take your tray of shit burgers, you can spin around, walk out that internet door. You hear me? Today, I picked Floods Force Dramatic Rescues in Phoenix area on MSN Butterfly News. Wait, the MSN is a mariposa? Crazy. Or, as Spanish-speaking women like you to do, the MSN is a mariposa? Okay. And see here we have many subjects to choose from. We got us, crime and justice, world, satek, pop culture. Pop means popular. In depth. I don't know what that means. I guess we go into the depth. Something offbeat photos video. All right. On to the story at hand. Floods force dramatic rescues in Phoenix area. Now this caught my eye because when I was young, my dad had a uh, Corvette, took the T-tops off. We drove through Phoenix all day. Drove through the deserts. I had a great day. But the night was not that great because I got super sunburned. Man, that one or two summers I lived there, that place had a dry, dry heat. Indeed. So, them flooding, that seems weird. And as we see, one of the easiest culprits. Wait, that's not right. One of the most important inference. One of the most important parts of our infrastructure. Roads. Are taken out pretty fast with just a few feet water level rise. A city of Phoenix official blocks a closed section of the road as flash flood waters overrun Skunk Creek through the Sonora Desert. Tuesday, August 19th, 2014, in northwestern Phoenix. AP two hours ago, and this is 6.44 p.m. Texas time, by Brian Skoloaf and Paul Davenport of Arizona Press. Associated Press. They're associated with everybody. Hey, look. Facebook shared it. 69. Phoenix AP. Arizona authorities have rescued two residents and three dogs from a flooded house north of Phoenix after more than four inches of rain pummeled some areas of the state. Dramatic television footage showed the residents in New River. Hey, wait. I thought all television footage was dramatic. About 30 miles north of Phoenix. Wait, I may have lost you there. I'll try not to do that. Dramatic television footage showed the residents in New River about 30 miles north of Phoenix waving a white towel out of a window as floodwaters raged around the house. A helicopter hovered above and lowered a rescuer down onto the roof. Phoenix Fire Captain Benjamin Santillian. Oh, they got a thingy for me that lets me know how to pronounce it phonetically. And phonetically it goes San T Yan. Says two women and three dogs. Wait. Oh, I thought the two women and the three dogs were saying something about Phoenix Fire Captain Benjamin Santillian. Santillian. But no, he was saying something. Two women and three dogs were pulled to safety with no injuries. Uh, mildly redundant reporting. Mildly redundant reporting. Who am I to judge, man? My videos aren't all perfect. Not all of them. A tractor trailer drives through flash flood waters that overran Skunk Creek. Tuesday, 
August 19, 2014. In northwestern Phoenix, a separate rescue played out as water submerged a minivan and authorities pulled a woman from the vehicle. Several inches of rain fell on the Phoenix area Tuesday morning, closing a portion of the major north-south freeway in Arizona and delaying flats. Yeah, rain can F.S. up, B. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning for much of the metro area and north of the city where up to eight inches of rain. Wow. Eight inches. That's a lot. Of rain has fallen in some of the mountainous regions along the interstate. See, and there's a man standing there with what I assume is his daughter. Yeah, it's his daughter. Josh Groves and his daughter, Abigail Groves, three, wait to cross the road as flash floodwaters overrun Skunky Creek through the Sonora Desert Tuesday, August 19th, in northwestern Phoenix. Looks like he's standing around going, WTF? And as you may know, at Thor News, I definitely believe that the waters will rise and there will be earth changes. I think it's silly to just concentrate on carbon. I think the sun is a large driving factor. And since we don't completely understand the sun, and 100% of scientists agree, we don't understand the sun 100%. That yes, man is screwing up our environment. And sucking shitloads of oil out of the middle of the planet is really bad news. I don't think carbon is the only driver. So go ahead and cook up your shit burgers and let me have it because you're mad we disagree. Or whatever. But I am saying we need to get 30 million people off the coast, build some super cities in the middle. Because the water hurt levels are going to rise. Why exactly? I don't know. You know, we don't understand the whole solar system. Crap! I stopped being funny. And there's one guy out there like, you were never funny! I was like, no, I was funny once in third grade. Funny. A Star Wars 7. Is there anything we're not going to know about that movie when it comes out? $2 million anti-pot campaign warns of becoming a lab rat. Brought to you by Monsanto. We love you and your freedom. Now we eat our fucking foods. Monsanto. Alright, peace out. God bless. This is Adult News. Alright, peace out. Stay cool. Remember, the bastards want you to be angry, confused. Emotional. And not using the samurai part of your brain. A true samurai. Only fights when he has to. God bless everybody. May the force be with you always. Live long and prosper. Peace, love, and rock and roll. I'm out. I'll be back. Look up. Look down. Look to your left. Look to your right. Now hug somebody. <laughs>